<laughs> Back to this game already. Let's uh, do some side stuff. Mm -hmm. Do people have to make so much noise? Ah, let's uh, finish up Xeon and Juniper's story. Let's consider what we know. <clears throat> Sorry. Everyone's talking up to Spongy Spuds. They're mouth murdering even if you just seem them. Didn't I say they were delicious? You look well made up. Not surprised. You got teary eyes just from eating them raw. <laughs> Not just that. You can reliably raise a sizable yield without much difficulty. This has put a lot of minds at ease. I think it's safe to say Spongy Spuds are the key to Colony 9's survival. The whole colony seems much brighter now. Everyone's getting a go of working in the fields. When people are less anxious, they are less prone to con confrontation too. I just wish we had a similar way to reduce inner colony hostilities. Hmm. Don't we? Maybe we should give it a try. Give what a try exactly? Let's try spreading spongy spots to other colonies. Ah. Oh. They solve food uh, shortages and maybe help a little with the tension and anxiety of the war. Colony 9 certainly works as a successful test model, but are you sure this is going to work? We'll do our best to make it work. Hunger makes it hard to think rationally, but eats away at the heart. We need to free people from that anguish. Uh, then let's get going. Spread the good news for the spongy spud. We can't waste any time. I'll call some friends. What, Kite? We'll continue this conversation in the Colony 9th Commander's office. And Juniper, maybe? Hmm? There's a lot of meme about... I noticed. There's some meme... Uh, not a lot, but there's some meme... Gray? Bro? <laughs> there's some meme first. about... Uh, ready to take on the world. Juniper and Kite's relationship. And Leon. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm pretty sure I have to equip. We'll make it. All of us. Hmm. <clears throat> Finite commander. It's... Hey there, guys. You're already here. So, as we discussed earlier, we want to teach other colonies how to grow spongy spuds. Count me in. Conflicts over food supplies are tragic. If there's anything we can do to help ease them, we should. I guess places with poor weather or a bad crop would be would owe us a favor. Looks like nobody objects. I mean, this is great and all, but how are you going to do it? You can't just hand over a spud and call it done. You're right. We'll need people to be able to teach on site. I'd like Roll and Kite to take care of that. Work with the people in charge, listen to what they want. Will do. We'll need to suss out the best mount colony for cultivation and discuss things with the leaders. But the most important thing right now is the soil. Ah, uh, yeah, the soil needs earth room wood, right? I've done some analysis on that front. Colony 4 and Colony Mew fulfill the geological criteria. Ah, so... Um, Ethel, Oliaris, and... Fiona. Huh. Two locations. That'll be tricky for the teachers to handle. How about we narrow it down to one right now? Test case. Why don't you pick who will approach first? Let's see. I want to do Colony Mew because they are they are pretty isolated, right? Colony Four is pretty close. Uh, is Mew really isolated? They're right next to the castle. But I want to visit Mew. Is that your final answer? Uh, 
I'm good. Okay, let's go and talk to the resource bots with uh, Xeon. Appreciate it, mate. I hope this works. It's kind of nuts to think how much difference a single spud can make. A potato with the power to change hearts. Now that's a cheaper to tout. <sighs> the smell. You are very good with your words, Xeon. <laughs> ah. The the girl who keeps talking to herself, you know, to keep that keeps reminding herself of her name, right, Nico? I think that's you. You should go talk to Nico. That's me, by the way. I think. I'm pretty sure. Rejoice! This soil should be perfect for spongy spuds. Huh? You're really getting into this. Zion. <laughs> Nico, you got a sec? Oh, hi guys. What do you need? Bungie spots, you say? Are they really all that? They are, without a doubt. The greatest food known to man or beast. Whoa, that's a confident assertion. <laughs> yeah, sorry. This guy is very into potatoes. If you're worried about how to prepare the fields, no need. Calling Nine is willing to send experienced labor over. So, will you think about it? Nico has to admit, Nico just doesn't eat many potatoes, but Nico, and just to be clear, I'm Nico, <laughs> is willing to entertain the notion. I'll talk it over with the others. You don't mind if I have, don't have an answer right away, do you? Of course, take all the time you need. We'll head back to calling line, let's have to know if anything comes up. Will do, and thanks. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> A lot of NPCs leave a pretty big impression on you in this game. Um, which is, I think, an indictment to how different the characters are and how the side quests tell... how the side quests are good at telling stories about the characters. Not just the events, you know? Because in... Some games, side quests are just events that happen. Like, oh no, wolves attacked us. Help us. No, in this game, it's like, you know, this person needs us this, and then their relationships change between characters. I like that. You came at just, uh, you came at just the right time. We just got word that someone in Colony Mew wants to learn to grow potatoes. Oh, that was quick. I was actually about to assign some teachers. I was thinking of leaving this one to Earl and Carrie. Uh, Earl is the Offseer, the fourth term. Carrie is one of the procurement, I think, yes. We've heard this full of young people, so we picked a pair they can feel a bit more at ease with. Yeah, we was very young. And Earl's got a bit of green thumb. Right, he was a big help with the fertilizer. Oh yeah, he, he did. So, sorry about the sudden request, but would you help? If Earl's in, I'm in. I don't think I'll be much use to be perfectly honest, but... I'm not going to turn my nose up at an opportunity like this. And it'll be interesting to get a look at an Agnian colony. Yeah, I, I, I wanted more people to see different colonies. Okay, good to hear. The other thing we have to take into consideration is that it's food people aren't familiar with. A bit of a robot if no one knows how to cook it, yeah? We could share our favorite recipes. What do you think? That sounds like forte of manana. Manana very well equipped to share goodness of spongy spots with the world. I'm telling you, give him a quick steam. Job's good run. If friends serious about spongy spots, then higher height of deliciousness can be achieved. Cooking intuition of manana say so. Okay then, how about this? We could try to find an original recipe suited to the colony. We can find about the colony's particular taste, what they're looking for. I think we'll get people on board that way. New. Um, all I remember, I don't know about food, but they like their flowers. They plant. Well, the flowers represent their fallen comrades. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
that could plan, but not all for it. It's beautiful for you to think about how on board people are with a plan. <laughs> it just means people can change, no matter how many times they've got under their belt. Okay, okay, that's enough. So, Manana's taking care of the recipes. We can do the asking round then. Good, then let's start gathering data from Colony Mew. Hmm. Hmm. The flower field. It's a sight to behold, and what's more... So, like, one of my recent lunchboxes, I put in thousand carrots and I should go. Oh, that sounds so cute. I'd love to have that in my lunchbox. Oh, they have lunchboxes. Oh. Packing lunchboxes, um, is a lot of effort and care. <laughs> Every morning, I have to do that for school. <laughs> I am so done with eating fish. They're just not meant to be eaten every single day, man. Uh, of course, it's an island, so they would have, you know, fishes. Man, that's a real tasty looking ration you got there. I just love how crispy it is. I'd eat them all day every day if I could. Oh, crispy. Are we going to fry the spots? You know. Mew fries, maybe? Mew wedges? I'm no good with fluffy cloud ears. They just look so unappetizing. The disappointing thing is that if they look just the tiniest bit cuter, I think I'll actually find them palatable. Would you agree? So, looks are important. No fish. Mm -hmm. People have to make so much noise. <laughs> yes, Diane. I just wanted to confirm. So about the recipe you've come up with for Colony Mew. Market research was very superb. People at Colony Mew want to feast eyes on cuteness of fruit before charm comes on tastiness. I find their e preoccupation. I find their preoccupation with the cuteness of their food somewhat irrational. But to each their own. It's not irrational. Presentation very important element of cooking. True. Heart of people is very sensitive to appearance. Very true. That makes sense. What an ingenious take. We talked about texture with them too. And a good crispiness pulled, through, pulled high. So they want a potato that's cute, but also has a nice mouth feel. I can't even imagine what that would be. Don't worry, pretty heads. And leave everything to Manana. Manana make cute tasty food that will never go out of style. So how do we put that into practice? I'll do whatever I... From you? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's not the end of the world. Image of recipe is like crystal in Manana's mind. Soon it's ready for present to Colony Mew. Manana complete faith in abilities. Uh, that's great news. Let's get cracking then. Banana, is there anything you need besides the spongy studs? Banana needs six spongy spuds, three portions of the full body Arjun meat, two whole heads of Empress lettuce, oh, and one big juicy broccoli, and 2,000 carrots. No, not 2,000 carrots, that's entirely too many. We can arrange some of that for you. Wow, you are really buzzing about this, aren't you? Quiet, lads. Once the ingredients are ready, we can unveil Manana's creation to Colony Mew. Let's have a look at the fields and then we can talk to Nico about cooking. Now 
nothing left behind? Okay, let's I'm pretty sure I have everything, yeah. Um, the problem with having, you know... Is our is everything that we listed? Oh, deals are going. Is there anything we can help with? See, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, are the ingredients easily obtainable in this area? Everything seems to be going well here. We just got all the seeds, but they just planted. Harold has a very kind and gentle way of planting. Nico feels sure that kind of planting will lead to extremely tasty taters. In Hamner, <laughs> do I know? Actually, that's just how you plant things. I was just trying to let the seeds know how hard they have to work to grow. Earl, you're just too much. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> They're getting on well. Yep. Time for eating! Everyone! Wash human paws and get ready for cook. Oh, dinner? We know it's hard to incorporate an unfamiliar ingredient into the menu. So, Melina's put together a special recipe for you. What? That's so cool! Where is it? Can Nico eat it now? <laughs> Time to bake from work to the mess hall! Mm hmm. This is I'm a nice view. It now. Spongy spuds are really going to take off around here. Must keep composure. <laughs> Dion the spud maniac. Let cooking begin. What are we picking here? Okay, I was terrified for a second. <laughs> Oh, Spongy Pond Fry Croquettes is finished! Oh, it's croquettes. Bon Appetit! It's almost too adorable to eat. What, what is it filled with? You should eat it though, it's great! Uh -huh -huh. It's so crisp and fluffy, all together yummy! Thanks so much for telling us about Spongy Spuds! Nico, that's me. <laughs> Natch thinks that these are going to be a big hit with the whole colony. Glad to hear that. It's still a long way to harvest though. You have to tend those fields every day. Don't worry, Earl. Ellie will keep us right. Yeah. Now it's exciting to wait for a day of harvest of spongy spuds. That's for sure. Oh man. They're going to outclass Colony 9 Spuds. I very much doubt that, but it will be a friendly contest. The harder we all work at this, the richer our day-to-day -day lives will be. At least, that's what I believe. You made a first step today, Zeon. One more step towards your ideal. I've never really thought of it as an ideal. I suppose it is. And maybe it's just a small step in the grand scheme of things. But for me, it's a pretty big one. <laughs> that was fun. <gasps> There's been changes to colony relations. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. It's best we talk this through. So, I've been wondering. Between the potatoes from Tao and the potatoes from Colony 9, which do you think is tastier? Friendland stumble upon ultimate question. Not even close. See, for my money, the Tao spot is best. It's got that sweetness and that little taste that lingers. Hmm, I'm not sure myself. I think I might prefer the Colony 9 ones. They don't fall apart as easily. I like that they're a bit more solid. I suppose I have to go with Tao's. No deep reasons though. Yeah, I don't know none that I could choose. For me, Tao edges it, I guess? I haven't really thought about it too deeply either. They were just... good, I think? 
Riku has soft spots for calling Nine Potato. After witness struggles of Zeon to grow, eating illicit feelings of sympathy. Hmm, you make a good point. All right, Zeon gets my vote too then. Well, that's got nothing to do with the tasty anymore. Uh, taste anymore, does it? Please do wait. Manana need three days to consider question in adequate depth. <laughs> it really wasn't that kind of question. <laughs> Just nice. Hmm, Juniper. Wait, let me see. Can we help with Colony Nothing Four Two? Okay, let's go. Is there a quest at Colony Nine? No. Was, I, I guess it was either or. I'll draw up the I'm going to discuss the this uh, Juniper quest, and then I'll visit Colony Four to see if they have a field. This might get complicated. So there's supposed to be this spring whose water makes you stronger. Yeah, I heard about that too. Just from drinking it? Wow, that's the dream. Man, yeah, I love a bit of that. No pun that story that eating red pollen orb makes you strong. Probably same kind of story. Uh, is the red pollen orb the, you know, drug stimulant? I love to find that spring. It's a lot of bollocks. If something like that really exists, why have another colony heard of it? I've got to say, I have no knowledge of this either. Then why don't we investigate it? I mean, if we look into it and find that there really is water that makes you stronger, that's win-win, right? True, but this wouldn't be the first uh, spurious legend to grace this colony. If this is a malicious custom that started in Colony Natal, we should debunk it now. As you wish, the Spring of Gronar is the place. Okay, let's go, Junjun. Ugh, let's be off. Let my foe do the talking. I'll track the quest. And is it colony four? Do you have a field? I don't know what would have happened. If I were a field, if I were to make a field here, my stomach's growling. It will be here on this side. Nope. I'm a little disappointed. No, uh, this is the entrance. Mm -hmm. What's Nutka doing here? You should be at the uh, the the canteen. Uh, what what are you doing here? They're looking for the spring. What about you, Nutka? I was thinking of putting all that knowledge I got from Kali Iota about water and rocks to use. Iota is Alexandria's. Mm -hmm. I think perhaps that drinking this water isn't suddenly going to turn you into a better soldier. Mate, this stuff is so good. So good. It's just water. How can it be? Oh, it does taste nice. You can make a sublime cup of tea with this. It really is top quality water, but I don't think there's anything particularly special in it. Or, I, th I think you were the one arguing with the three, the three Nopons, I think. The three blacksmiths that came from Colony 30. The three mechanics. 
So it's just a normal spring. I'll have to check the affinity chart. Seems that way. I don't think it'll give you any powers. And the crabbles in the back are scary. What? Tell tell that to these bulging biceps. <laughs> Both of you are already plenty strong enough. It's all in your head. Ah, it's like Michael's secret stuff. Should we try one more spring? If other fountains are as good as these, then it wouldn't spare us the trek. Is there a spring closer to Tao? There is. This area is a bit too monster infested for comfort. At worst, we might be surrounded. The other spring is a lot more peaceful. It will be far preferable for us as a water source. I see your point. Okay, let's take a look. Follow me. Thanks. Is it the one in the corner? There's been changes to colony relations. Like here? Maybe? Nutka, you should, you know, level up your affinities too. Your running speed is way too slow. Mm. I was wondering if we were going to see. Ah, okay. Next to the Gorgol. Considering the distance, maybe it's for the best that Tao don't have to go all that far. That's true. If anyone gets hurt in the process, it'll be defeating the purpose. Mm -hmm. I would say this is a spring of water. It looks more like a big puddle, you know? Wait here while I look around. Hmm, Mio, Mio, stop running. Mio, Mio. Well, its composition is practically identical to the other spring. Interesting. It's definitely better to draw our, our water from here. We've had a lot of casualties getting our water from that spring. This is far and worry the better choice. They're both pretty much the same. Then how come that other one's got a legend about beefing you up and this doesn't? No idea, it's just something that people have said. That's how customs work. It doesn't matter how ludicrous they are. People refuse to... Whoa. People refuse to let go of them. Though we always had an awful time trekking up there to fetch water. If we can lighten her load, I count that a win. She's already working hard enough, trying to treat all our injured. And Graziana too. She and Gloria are responsible for the water supplies. Graziana is very careful, thankfully. She hasn't had any unpleasant monster encounters yet. The water's so good from this spring too. She should be pleased. Do you mind if we leave you to spread the good news? No problem. Let me just fill it up first. Thanks for coming out here. No bother at all. We're just hoping if we can stop more people from getting hurt. Hi. It's just it's little things like these that make people's life easier for everyone. Hang in there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. More rumors. Wrong place to skip travel. I always do that. Nutka, are you here? My stomach's growling. No, it's, it was Anorina. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I was right. I did see her around the uh, the canteen. So much noise. They returned. It's best we talk this through. Looks like the people who went from Tao to other colonies have come back. 
Those for colonies be liberated, and we did notify them that they be coming, so it's not like I was uh, overly worried. But still, it's no small feat to get there and back alone. I don't think I could have made it. Yeah, me neither. Not on my own anyways. And yet, as a learning experience, I'm sure it was invaluable. I agree with you. It's bound to spur on Colony Town in all sorts of ways, expect it or not. For this, the plate was solely headed for the scrap heap, and no one would have been any, wi any the wiser. They grabbed this opportunity and ran with it. Good on them. Certainly, we could stand to emulate their example. Mm -hmm. That is what cultural exchange does. Mm. Pes peak business. Peak busyness. Leaders in training. This is the uh, in front of the castle. This is colony nine. This might get complicated. Everyone at Agnes Castle seems busy. Right, and there's not as many people as there were before. I wonder what they are all doing. Both Agnes and the last numbers look to be really hurried all the time. Yeah, but there hasn't been any major stripes yet, at least. If anyone knows the ins and outs of the situation, it will be Seeker. It might be a good idea to inquire. Hey, good thinking. You'd have a good overview, sure. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's the the dock. Okay. Next on the list is. Next on the list is. <sighs> like I said, I really enjoy the constant updating of character relations. It's so imposing. I'm speechless. Oh, it's your first time up here. I just do that one day. Just bring everyone around the world. Um, where is Colony? Now. Where are you, Nuka? <laughs> Interested in one way. Hmm? Kite? Uh, yeah. The Turkins. Mm -hmm. mm. Where's the three Nopon? Where's Honoring? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Are you gonna be linked up to Colony 30? <laughs> or are they not characters? Which is sad. Hey, Gondor and Seeker. Hi, Seeker. Things are looking busy, huh? They sure are. And not that I'm complaining or anything. What are you doing now? I'm making preparations for sending off provisions and other goods to the city. Isn't that what you were doing before? Have the provisions run out already? Wait, wait, let me guess. Agen and Oki, right? Yes, you see, the two of them were pretty keen on getting some extra provisions. I knew something like this would happen. Those dingbats think everything will work out so long as there's food on the table. Dingbats? Bah. So I was busy with other stuff and told them to handle it. Big mistake. It's not like I have heaps of time on my hands either, but since I've already spent people to the city, I can't ignore it. And so, I'm enlisting the entire castle personnel, up to and including inspectors, to try and cope with this somehow. Too nice nature for your own good, Seeker. I just prepared the ship, but I just got word of some problems arising. 
what kind of problems. In plain words, some people don't want goods shipped out, so they've taken up arms and are heading for the boat. Next, some of the goods that were left in the prison camp haven't been delivered. And then, we don't have enough ether cylinders to keep running the ship back and forth. A real cluster snuff of <laughs> situation, in short. Now I get why you need all the manpower. If that's all you need, we'll pitch in too. Let us handle all those things you just mentioned. Would that help? Yes, it would. Thanks very much. A lot of our soldiers aren't used to this sort of work, so I appreciate your offer. Alright then, let's roll up the old sleeves and get cracking. I don't know what would have happened if uh, I had Gondor in my party. <clears throat> this is the prison. Yard, I guess. Are you going to have containers here that needs to be moved around? Are there going to be ruffians here? No, the ruffians should be at the dock. I think. Hello there. We're still short on cargo. Where on Ionia has he gone off to? Oh hey, you guys! I've been getting Augie to help me out with cargo. We've got seven pieces left to get now, but Augie's nowhere to be seen. I'm sorry to ask, but I'd really like your help. Darni will have it out for me if I don't get all the cargo loaded. She doesn't take no for an answer. Huh. So I pick things up. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, find cargo. Find food. Find cargo. Or find food. Find food it is. Do me a favor and go find the remaining cargo for me. Mm, what the heck? Oh hey, I found the what's it! Not picking a side, nature and the little nature one is close. The thing for the stuff. Is that all? No, there's more here. Is this like a rare thing? Those abs are so hot. <laughs> somewhere. Why? What's gonna happen? This is a arena. We're fighting. Let's see. That should make it four pieces of cargo we've got a hold now. That means three more to find. Where else could they be? Hmm? Wait a minute. Look over there. <gasps> Vulcans! Oh, Spark's sakes! They're guarding our stopping target! This goes some way to explain the cargo shortage. You know what to do? Let's teach these thieving stuffers a lesson! Right. Gulkins. 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 Oh, level 60 Gulkins. Ooh. This is a level 60 quest. Ooh. The element of surprise! Keep it up, Neo! Ha! Impulse 
This all right? Whoa, got a red dude all right here. Time to head back. Yes, three more. <laughs> K. Kaye or K. K. Kaye. K. Thank you so much for rounding up the triangle. It's worrying to think we've got a thief to contend with, though. We'll have to keep an eye out for them, whoever they are. Darnie will be flecking it out, at least. She's uncompromising, but she's an honest, nice girl. Now we we'll won't we'll let her down. disturbing development on the eastern side of the perimeter. We've received some eight requests, but if our info on the enemy's forces is correct, we're in for one tough battle. The har harbor the enemies after has got a whole load of supplies we can't afford to lose. Could you let us hand? Mm -hmm. Where do we go? Ah. From the uh, yeah, the workshop. Is there just a plain old conflict? Okay. Castle reinforcements are on their way. Surrender immediately. Shut it! An internal affairs lackey who like you doesn't get it like I do. Look. I'm already busier than I usually am, and my ulcer is filling up like a stock. Stop making things more difficult! Is this what I think it is? Yeah, that girl over there is from Internal Affairs Security Team. And it appears this ruffian is a part of their effort force opposed to the sending of supplies to the city. They've made the island on the other side of the bridge their base. And they've got a fierce levness that won't let us near them. We need those prisoners' labor for the sake of Ina's future. So, what the sparking point in releasing them now? They're spendable, aren't they? Ah, uh, the old ways. I can assume he hasn't been able to accept that he's no longer bound by the plague clock. Yeah, we knew this was a possibility. That scoundrel doesn't even think us as human. I'm done here. He's too far gone now. Kill him. Were you loud whispering about calling over castle reinforcements? They are the enemy. 
how much farther are you going to shame on yourself until you're satisfied? Two ashes with you all. That's enough stalling for time. You are hereby indicted for violating military discipline. <clears throat> You'll have to batter each and every last one of us before you indict us for anything. Oh, great. More time stalling. You better not feel sorry for yourself after we're done kicking your ass. Oh, big one. Snuff it. How can so few fighters be so powerful? Retreat! We aren't going to go down here. Not like this. Thanks. You really did us a solid here. Nah, we didn't do much really. If anyone's counting on you for things, then you'd better go take care of them. I've got things under control there. Like, under control here. Let's shout. Go down to the box. You're the one that gave us info about the seeker earlier? Maybe? Possibly? I think you are. Mm -hmm. There aren't enough easy cylinders to run the iron in the ship. We've been having an odd drop in our available equipment as of late. Could you procure me 10 ether cylinders? I can do 50 if you want. Thank you very much. We now have enough ether for the ship. If you got things you need to sort out, then I suggest you take care of them. Otherwise, if you're all done gathering them up, could you hand the cylinders to Dana for me? Now, about this equipment shortage, it has to be linked to Raxi and his thugs. I need to let Grover know about this. I'll tell the other department about the lack of equipment. But I'll inform Grover right away. If there's anyone you can count on to get the job done, quick. It's him. Hmm. Then, uh, was the... Yes. Earlier, when we were sending the three folk back home, we talked to you. This ship looks awesome, by the way. And I'm guessing it's like a Levness form, or... Mm, yeah. Looks like it. No flame clock, right? So it's not a Feronis. <gasps> no! I think we should be good to go if we had another 10 ether cylinders. Yes. You have 10 seed cylinders. Will this be enough cylinders now? They'll do. Thanks. Sorry about all the hassle. 
As for the provisions and supplies, I think that should be all of them too. It's nice that we're just getting stuff, but Sparks, when I think of the trouble everyone had to go to, just for this... Hey now, is all for the good of the city? You sure you shouldn't be smiling? Believe me, I'm doing plenty of that too. A real 12th grade grin. Anyhow, we're all set here. And the boat's ready too. Guess I'll go ahead. Try to add insult to manual labor. But could you report back to Seeker? Sure thing, we're on it. <laughs> Looks like the ship's shipped out now. Thanks, I've heard. Even Aki and Unki should be satisfied when they see the shipment. I sure hope so. Now then, time to handle the issues in Agnes Castle, I reckon. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Is it Raxi? Yes? Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. What? Snuff it. Understood. I'll send someone straight away. What happened? That was from some soldiers down in the harbor. They say they've lost contact with the ship. Oh, no. I was going to send some troops to get a quick idea of the situation. It's an emergency, right? We'll go. I think it'll be quicker that way. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Right. Let's get on out there. <gasps> There's a side quest within a side quest. Ah, no, it's the next side quest. Whoa, I just searched the area. Then I'll get on my boundary. I always forget I, I can discuss on the ship, you know. <gasps> Wait. They're right here. Over there. Dana? Uh, sorry you guys. Things like... Looks like things went sparks up. W what? Dana? Holy sh... What? What does this happen? Over there. Acne Levinus's. Yeah, no mistaking it. Oh my god, it's the first time we've seen city folk. No, we have seen uh, Gurnika die and Shania die. Hey, check it out! Looks like Orbos caught wind of us! It was you? You took Lattnesses to raid the shipment? Raid? I resent the wording. We just did what we had to get our, to get our food back. What? You really thought we'd hand it over to our mortal enemies? You're dumber than a bale of tent cloth. They're not your enemies. Shut your lying mouth, mutter. You're as bad as a lot of them. A perversion of the natural order. You're not leaving me any choice here. We'll just have to get rid of you as well. I guess we're doing this then. Prepare to die! Oh, 
I feel bad for her. Left health? The pseudo? Yeah, with the way the buffs work, I think, in the game, like, it's really, really hard to apply. This class might be the weakest damage class. Uh, I'm not sure. The stalker class is also really bad at single target, I think. Except for the uh, the, the launch plus attack. That that one does a lot of damage. I'm not going to anymore. I think who had first. Uh, then, uh... Oh, we are no match for them. Even with the weapon. Everyone, are you alright? Oh, oh, snuff. Seeker, timely entrance, you rat. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, we were too late to help Dana and the others. What did you do? How could you? You're seriously gonna give me that? You, with the internal affairs background? We don't have two potatoes to rub together ourselves, but here's you, handing over food to prisoners? You were perfectly content making the prisoners make our food and necessities right up till now. And what do we care about anyone outside of Agnes? Let them all starve, I say. What? You wanna argue? Uh, some things are bigger than you or me. Things we can't achieve alone. We'll never have understanding without humility. What are you yakking on about? Without cooperation, there can be no escape from our suffering. Not for any of us. Open your eyes, don't you get it? Keeping the city's residents prisoner was the first fundamental wrong. Swallowing the consul's words whole, that was another. Accepting the fake queen, another one still. If you can't comprehend, well, that's as it may be. However, plotting against those who've turned over a new leaf will not be tolerated. Tolerated? Listen to yourself. I took up arms to protect the castle. Oh, spare me. You attacked and killed an innocent bystander. If you don't know how to, to be ashamed, you'll, you will have to be taught. Take them away. What? Seeker, you worthless mutter. What gives you the right? Oi, face me. 
What a wretched turn of events. I should have foreseen this. You didn't cause this. Not only will he fail to deliver on the promised shipment, now the passengers are dead too. I should be ashamed of myself. Now ain't the time for the blame game. We gotta do what we gotta do. You're right. I'll retrieve the goods and head back. Thank you very much for your cooperation, everyone. That's quite all right. Aww. Why things turn out like this? I know. We'll have to notify Gondor of Dana's passing. I'll carry back her personal effects. I'd like to hand them over to Gondor personally and tell her for what happened. In that case, why don't we go with you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I feel this is something I have to take care of myself. I don't want to make you all carry my failure like that. Well then, I'll go on ahead. I'm really sorry for causing you so much trouble. Not for nothing. Think it'll be okay? With Thika and Gondor? Yeah, I'm sure it will. Yeah, no matter her behavior, Gondor's not unreasonable. As much as he might want to, I don't think there's anything for us to do either. Yeah, better leave the Seeker like he wanted. Oh, it's a he. I'm sorry. Aww. There's been changes to colony relations. Stop showing me Muamba! And he's all alone here. This is sad. Look, everyone. Not everyone. Hat. And Muamba, they're- Aww, these two, they're separated from everyone else. Hey, what's- uh, Shino, uh. Where is- Where would Dana be? She was a good friend. 